Hello and welcome to our brand new show Inside Rovers, where every month we'll be taking a look back at some of the highlights, we'll also get to know the players a little bit better and we'll take a look at some of the brand new initiatives going on at the club. But first things first, let's go back to the opening match of the season, an away trip against South End United. So three goals and three points, the perfect start to their new campaign, but can they back it up in their first home game of the season against Wickham Wanderers? Rovers on the pitch but there's also great things happening off the pitch as well. This season the club has introduced new initiatives to enhance match day experience for all fans. 
Yeah, we've introduced many new initiatives this season, including the fan park. So with the fan park, we have live music or DJ sets. We have street food vendors, and we also have a legend or a current first team player who comes down, we'll do a team readout for all the fans that's in the fan park. And we'll also ask a few questions about the time and the Rovers. And it, that's utilised by both home and away supporters as well. So everybody's welcome. We've introduced the away family area. So we're basically replicating what we do in the home end. So we'll have theme games themed to their team. We've got PlayStations in the away end. And we've got crafting, everything. We try to make match days as comfortable and as exciting for everybody that visits the Keep Most Stadium. We've just launched the quiet room, which essentially is this room during a, during a match day. This is Donny's dog's kennel. And during, during the match, if you ever feel like you need just a quiet period, this room's free for you to come and sit in and sit a bit of peace and quiet, get yourself settled down, and then get back out and enjoy the excitement of the match. We're also looking to set up fan panels for our youth supporters, so they can get involved, they can give us ideas and general discussions on how we can improve the match days. And we're also set, looking to set up a match day for all panels, which includes people of all uh, uh, disabilities, for your deaf supporters, people with mental health issues, things like that. So we're, we're making the match day as comfortable and as exciting for as many people as we possibly can. Make sure you get yourselves down here and see everything that we've got happening on a match day. We are, there's always loads of things for you to do. And we always, we're always looking, like our mascot, Donny Dog, we're always looking to get Donny Dog involved in everything. So any young families, get yourself down to the ground and experience what we're doing on a match day. And we've had lots of positive feedback as well, so that's always good to see. But back to the football, it's been the perfect start for new coach Grant McCann, and it got even better when they faced their local rival, Scunthorpe United, in the Carabao Cup. Three wins from three in both the league and cup. The perfect start to the new campaign. But let's step away from the football pitch now and get to know one of the Rovers players a little bit better. It's their club captain, Andy Butler. So Andy, thanks for joining us on the very first episode of Inside Rovers. Exciting to have you here. How are you feeling? I'm good, thank you. I'm nervous about it. Are you? Yeah, no, yeah. you don't need to be. It's just going to be some easy questions. So first of all, what is your earliest footballing memory? Earliest footballing memory? Um, a school where I played in net, I thought I was only young, but I remember it going through my legs and trying oh, to be a goalkeeper. Ah, oh. yeah. well, that didn't work out then? No, <laughs> I think I was about um, 9 or 10. Okay, yeah. and what is your most memorable footballing moment? Um, emotions probably. Um, there was one, one team at Walsall when we 
we were eleven points adrift at Christmas and we stayed up on the last day of the season, so that's pretty yeah. cool. Uh, have you ever gone down in a game on purpose? Um yeah, um no, yes and no. I got headboard twice in, in one game. And it weren't massive headbutts where right. both caught. You make the most of it, yeah, don't both you? Both got sent off, yeah, so yeah, it helped the team and okay. yeah. <laughs> Uh, what is your favourite show on Netflix at the moment? Oh, I, don't, I don't use Netflix at the oh, moment. What's your favourite show then? Uh, favourite show? Uh, Walking Dead or Game of Thrones. Okay. And what's the best thing you did uh, this summer? Pull me a licence. Oh, nice. Who is the Prime Minister of England? Oh, Theresa May. <laughs> Who is the all-time leading goal scorer for Doncaster Rovers? You can take your time, this is a bit of a tough question. All-time leading goal scorer? I don't know, is it Alnwick? No. No, I don't know. Uh, Tom Keatley. That's used to me. Okay. <laughs> uh, have you ever seen a UFO? No. Can you name the planets in the solar system? Yes. So there's eight of them. Eight, so we've got Mercury. So we've got Mercury, uh, Earth, Mars, Pluto, <laughs> Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune. Pluto's not a planet anymore. No. Uranus. Yes. Okay, who in your team takes the longest to get ready? Who takes the longest to get ready? Um, Cops is always blow dry his hair. Um, John blow dry his hair. Um, Cops and John's are joined. Who has the best haircut, in your opinion? The Did best you? haircut? I know who doesn't have the best haircut. Who? Uh, Alex Kawama. <laughs> Um, if you turn it upside down, you could use him a mop. Um, <laughs> the best haircut, I don't know, we can, there's a lot of bad haircuts. Joe Wright's got a bad haircut. We're focusing on the good ones, the good, good ones, ones, all right? You can uh, say yourself if you want. Uh, yeah, go on, I'll go myself. Okay, yeah. nice. And who on the team is most likely to go to a Justin Bieber concert? Again, you can say yourself. Oh, probably Will Young. Okay. Will uh, Longbottom, sorry. Will Longbottom. Oh, all right. Probably. And uh, who's most likely to go to a Little Mix concert? Uh, probably Will Longbottom again. Okay. <laughs> and what teammate of yours is the best to follow on Instagram and why? Um, I feel like again, Will Longbottom loves a little ph photograph. Um, oh, Will. <laughs> Lola, Ian Lola put last point pictures of gloves on it. And you've got the youngsters who will just post constant Fortnite ones, so there's quite a few of them. <laughs> okay. Who is your celebrity look like if you had to choose someone famous? Someone said it looked like the, um, the guy of Thor, what's his name? The guy of Thor? Thor, yeah. Is it Liam Hemsworth or is it his brother? Yeah, uh, yeah Right, yep. yeah. Okay. Or, or the uh, Martin Clunes, that's the guy I was. Okay, so we've got two potential ones. Yeah. Uh, what is your go to karaoke song? Uh, Summer of 69. How does that one go? Um, Back in the summer of 60. Is that it? Bear in mind, every one of your teammates are probably going to have to do this yeah, at some yeah. point, so um, give us your best sort of verse. Uh, I can't really sing it, I'm terrible at singing. Um, Played until my fingers bled, it was the summer of 69. Me and some guys from school had a band and we tried real hard. Jimmy quit, Jody got married. Should have known we'd never get far. Oh, that was great. Yeah. Oh, it takes a while. You're a bit shy, aren't you? That was really good. So now we're going to go on to quick fire questions. Okay, so Doncaster or Scunthorpe? Doncaster. Fortnite or FIFA? Fortnite. PlayStation or Xbox? PlayStation. Chicken or steak? Steak. Hands or feet? Well, so you're all done. Was it that bad? No, it was good, that. All right, now, luckily for you, you get to nominate uh, someone from your team to do this next month with us. Who's it going to be? Mitchell Lund. Mitchell Lund. All right, Mitchell, we'll see you in September. All right, Andy, thanks very much for joining us and all the best for the rest of the season. Thank you very much. <laughs> Cheers. Back to the football now, and unfortunately for the Rovers, their winning run came to a stop with a loss against Burton Albion, followed by back-to-back -back goalless draws with Shrewsbury Town and Portsmouth. Coach Grant McCann looks back at the month that was. Yeah, I think the start was great, you know, I think the two games um, was perfect. I think the lads took the instructions very well um, and, and we are 
generally getting better in terms of the performance level. Um, but if we keep performing the way we're, the way we've been doing, um, the results will follow. I'm a firm believer in that. Um, there may be times when we, when we may have to win some games ugly, of course, um, and we need to have another string to our bow. But at the minute, the boys are enjoying the, the, the freedom. Uh, they're enjoying getting forward and attacking teams. Um, now we need to be a bit more ruthless. The game against Burton, I don't think we took our chances when, when we um, when we were on top early part of the game. I think you know John Marquis probably didn't sleep that night thinking about the chance he missed. And knowing Johnny be he was devastated with that. Um, and we had we had two or three other chances to to, to go one 0 up, which we didn't take. Um, and then to concede straight after half time was a was a blow for us. But we came strong again. You know um, we came strong. We we could have we could have at least got a point out of it. Um, but uh, if I'm looking at the games that we've had, that was probably an eve a, a day where um, a draw probably would have been would have been okay with um, in terms of we probably deserved a draw, um, but we didn't deserve anything else after that. I mean, a team who were in the playoff final last year in Shrewsbury coming to to the keep mode was was always going to be difficult. A new manager, um, a completely different team. You know, it was. It was a tough game, another game where two points dropped in my, in my opinion, uh, but again, performance was good. You know, we uh, did everything but score, um, and we, we're always frustrated if we don't win it. The Portsmouth game was the toughest test, I believe, and um, you know, we knew how strong they had started. They were scoring goals for fun. Um, they came here and, and didn't change their style of play, which, which you know, I thought after about 25, 20, 20, 25 minutes. They started to change. Um, they changed personnel at half time because of the foothold we had in the game. Um, and I thought, in terms of our performance again, it was excellent. You know how we didn't score again. Um, and then when we didn't have that spell, and Marco had to make three or four, you know, point blank saves to keep us in the game. But yeah, if, I mean, if we if we finish anywhere near Portsmouth or above them, then we'll get promoted. Yeah, the Blackpool game frustrated in terms of uh, the result, of course. Um, we never want to lose at home. Uh, we haven't in, in the league, but we've lost the, the, the game against Blackpool in, in the Cup. Um, it was always going to be a difficult evening, really, in terms of how many players we left uh, out of the team. We brought four or five in who hadn't played as yet. Um, and it's always a big culture change if you do that when the team's been dominating been the same in the league uh, and you bring people in to, to have an opportunity. But it wasn't to be for us. The focus is, is in September is to, to be better than what we were in August. Um, we had nine points in the league. You know, it's um, it's okay. Um, does it get does it get you promoted and keep you in the top six? No. So we know we have to be better. We know we have to have a better points tally at the end of September. Um, everyone's focused on that. You know, um, the boys are well aware of that. And you know, we've had, we've had chats um, and meetings um, to see where we are. How frustrated we've been in terms of some of the games where we have proper controlled, didn't win. Um, now we need to be more ruthless. So that's August done and dusted. But during the week, we've been getting you to vote for your goal of the month. So without further ado, here's the winning goal. Thank you very much for joining us for our very first episode of Inside Rovers. But we want to hear from you. If you've got any challenges, any ideas that you want us to try and get the players to do, we'll do our very best to get them in the show. But otherwise, we'll see you next time.